Finally, I could go home now. <laughs> and where do you think you're going, loser? You aren't walking away without giving me my homework. Now cough it up. Um, homework? Oh, right, homework. I, I'm sorry, Brock. I couldn't finish it. I was busy playing Roblox with my friends, so I forgot to do your homework. <laughs> Did you hear that, everyone? It looks like Billy finally made some friends. <laughs> Imaginary friends. <laughs> All that time talking to the wall really paid off for him. Shut up, Brock! Or what? I need my homework on my desk tomorrow, Billy. Got it? If you don't do my homework, then you're going to pay. You don't want anyone finding out that you talk to your imaginary friends, do you? Make sure Billy doesn't talk to anyone, you hear me? This is what he gets for not doing my homework on time. Now, I am going to make sure that he never has any friends for the rest of the school year. Even his imaginary friends are going to leave him. <laughs> Do you think he can fight me? <laughs> Even if he called Superman for help, they won't be able to fight me. I'm the strongest in this school. Friends must be really nice, right? Well, I never got to experience friendship. I've never had a single friend since childhood, and I never really understood why. I tried talking to people, I tried being funny and cool and whatever people wanted me to be, but it never worked. I'm lonely, I've always been lonely. The only people I get to spend time with are my family, who really love, by the way, but outside of my house, I'm the loneliest person ever. Even my family's too busy for me these days, but today's my birthday, so they're spending more time with me. You're still not ready? Oh gosh, Billy, come on. Don't be so lazy. It's your birthday. Oh, sorry about that, Annie. I guess I just really am sleepy, so... Then wake up! You're supposed to get really excited on your birthday. Mom is going to get you your favorite cake! I'm looking forward to that! It's been a while since I've had cake. <laughs> Yummy cake! Mom knows how much you like sweet stuff, which is why she's getting an extra large cake for you. She wants to make your birthday extra special for you. Also, when mom asked you what gift you wanted, you didn't say anything. Why is that? Is there nothing you want for your birthday? Well, there is something I want, but no one could give it to me. Huh? What do you mean? What is it that you want? I want friends, Annie. I'm best friend. I don't want to be lonely anymore. I hate being sad. I'm always sitting in the corner of my classroom whenever I go to school. No one looks in my direction. No one talks to me. It's like I'm invisible. It's like they all ignore me. So that's what I want for my birthday. Will you be able to give that to me, Annie? Exactly. That's what I thought. Billy, why didn't you ever tell me this? This is the first time you're bringing it up. I've never heard you complain about being lonely before. You should tell mom and I about these things. If there's ever anything troubling you, you can always tell us. You know that, right? What's the point of telling you, though? Even if you really wanted to help, you wouldn't be able to. It's not something you both can change. Ugh, sorry, I shouldn't complain. I don't want you to feel sad because it's my birthday after all. Oh no...
Happy birthday, Billy! Happy birthday! Woohoo! <laughs> How are you enjoying your birthday so far? It's been great so far, Mom. All because of you and Annie. You made my birthday really fun, so thanks a lot. Of course. But it's not over yet. We still need to cut the cake, remember? I got your favorite cake. Annie wasn't kidding when she said you got a big cake. Looks yummy. Of course. Now, come on. Cut the cake. Ah! Ah! Woo! <laughs> Happy birthday, Billy. Thanks a lot, Mom. It means a lot to me. Also, you still haven't answered the question that I asked you earlier. What gift do you want for your birthday? I know there's something you want, but you just don't want to tell me. Come on, Billy. Don't be shy. I can get you anything you want. You know that, right? I... I don't think there's anything that I want, Mom. Come on, you know that's not true. I know you want something. I can see it in your eyes. It's written all over your face. Come on, tell me what you want for your birthday. Okay, so, um, this might sound weird, but if you get me a robot, that would be really nice. A robot friend. A robot that talks to me, cares about me. A robot I can hang out with. I just feel really lonely these days, and I don't have any friends in school, so I was just wondering if I I can't get a real friend, then I'd be happy with a robot friend. Hey, you feel lonely at school? Why have you never talked to me about this? Sorry, Mom. I just didn't have the courage to. I didn't want to admit that I was lonely. It's embarrassing to tell. I really hate it when I think about it. I don't want to be lonely. No one wants to be lonely. <laughs> if you want a robot friend for your birthday, then I can get it for you, definitely. If you ever want anything from me, you can let me know. I can get you anything in the world. Remember that. Thank you so much, Mom. Also, don't hide things from us. Next time you have a problem like that in school, just tell us. All right, I'll let you know. We came to party all night long. I don't end up having that many friends. Playing video games isn't that bad either. Video games are the best. I guess I can't think of video games as my best friends. I wouldn't be able to live without them. It would be really nice if I had someone to play with though. I usually play with Annie, but she's not always free to play. She's really busy sometimes and she hasn't been able to play with me much lately. Huh. Maybe I could try making online friends, but that would be pretty weird, wouldn't it? I can't just be friends someone online. Someone I've never seen or talked to in person. That's dangerous. It's really Risky. Ugh. Hey, Billy, what are you up to? Nothing much, just playing some video games. Is there something you want to tell me? Yes, there is. We have a surprise waiting for you in the living room. Surprise? What kind of surprise are you talking about? Only one way to find out. Why don't you go downstairs and see for yourself? God, she actually got me a robot! I can't believe it! She got it already? It's only been three days since my birthday! She's so cool! Hello, Billy. My name is Claire. You must be Billy, right? Your mom told me about you. I am going to be your best friend, Billy. I'm very happy to see you, and I would like to get to know you better. Claire! Hi! Uh, my name's Billy! Oh, wait, you already know that, right? <laughs> yeah. Wow, I'm 
so shocked. I've never seen a robot in real life before. When I asked mom to get me a robot friend, I was half joking because I knew it was pretty much impossible for her to give me that gift, but she actually did it. Well, this is crazy. Your mom must love you a lot. It must be really heartwarming to have a loving parent like her. She cares about you a lot, doesn't she? Yeah, she really does. And I care about her a lot too. I love my family. Annie and mom, I love them both so much. I'm happy to hear that. Having healthy family relationships is the first step to having a good mental health. So, how do you like the surprise, Billy? I love it, Mom! Thank you so much, Mom! You're the best! And Annie, too! Thank you! <laughs> Aw, Billy! Shucks! This was all Mom's doing. Mom's the one that got the robot for you. I don't even know where she found it. I wouldn't have had the slightest idea of where to even look for something like that. But she found it. Where did you find it, Mom? What sort of magic did you use? <laughs> A true magician never reveals her secrets. Ugh, of course you were going to say that. I hate when you say that. <laughs> well then, Billy, you have a friend now. Tell her about yourself. Talk to her. I'm going to talk to her a lot. why you asked your mom to get a friend for you. Because you were feeling really lonely. Is that right, Billy? Yeah, that's right. Loneliness is one of the worst feelings ever. I've always wanted someone to talk to, someone to have fun with, someone to hang out with, someone outside of my family. Every time I went to school, I would see groups of people always talking to each other and hanging out between lessons. I wanted to be in a group like that. I wanted to have my own circle of friends. But I never did, and I don't think I ever will. I can understand understand how you feel, Billy. I have been programmed to understand human emotions, so I understand the feeling of loneliness really well. It's not a good feeling at all, so I can empathize with you. However, you don't have to worry anymore, because you're not lonely now. You have me. Yes, I do, and I've never been happier. I might not be a real person, but I'm still willing to try my best to be the best possible friend you could ask for. That's more than enough for me, Claire. Don't worry about it too much. I'm just really happy that you're here. I thought of teaching Claire how to play video games, but it turned out that she already knew how to play most of them. She destroyed me in almost every single video game that we played. It was embarrassing, but we had a lot of fun the whole time. How are you so good at all these video games? You're awesome! Billy, you already know the answer. I'm a robot. So robots like myself are programmed to be the best at almost everything, especially video games. Programming robots to be good at video games is a walk in the park. It's really easy. That's not fair. You're way too good. You keep getting a perfect score every time. If you would like to make the game more fair for yourself, then I can try holding back a little bit, Billy. Oh, look at Claire. Even she pities me. That makes me feel so much better, doesn't it? <laughs> you are so funny, Billy. Oh my gosh, you almost always make me laugh. And you're really good at annoying people and making them rage quit. But I'm going to start playing more seriously now. Playtime's over. We played video games the whole day and to be honest, it's the most fun I've ever had. I know it might sound really sad. The most fun I ever had is with a robot because I couldn't find an actual friend. People would make fun of me for that if they knew, but I really don't care. I'm happy with Claire. She's going to be my best friend forever. I'm sure of it. Hey, Bill. 
Billy. Wake up! Wake up! It's time for you to go to school. Wake up! Oh, I wanna go. I'm too sleepy. Come on, Billy. You know that's not possible. You need to go. You can't miss a day of school. Come on, get up. to sleep just a little bit more. It wouldn't hurt if I just slept a few more minutes, would it? Unfortunately, it would be, Billy. A few more minutes and you would have been exactly three minutes and 34 seconds late for school. That's unacceptable, according to your mother. <sighs> did my mother program that into your system? Oh, yes. Yes, she did. What gave it away, Billy? Anyways, I forgot to tell you. I wanted you to come with me to school, Claire. Oh, really? Are you sure that's a good idea? Does the school even allow robots? My mom has good relations with the school, so they let it slide. My mom is super rich, you know. I thought so, since she was able to afford a robot like me. But are you sure it would be smart for you to take me to your school? What if people annoy you for it? I'm sure people wouldn't like the idea of you hanging out with a robot. They might make fun of you and say that you can't get any actual friends. And that's why you got a robot friend instead. I can definitely see them making fun of you for that. Are there a lot of meanies in your school? Yeah, they are. But I really don't care. No one pays attention to me in school anyway. I doubt anyone would care. All right then, that's your decision to make. I would be more than happy to come with you to school if you're okay with it. Here you go! This is my school! What do you think? I don't really have much to say. This is just an ordinary school, so I don't really feel any emotions right now. Were you expecting me to feel a certain way? No, but I was just curious about what you thought of it. But yeah, you're right. It's just an ordinary school. Yeah, anyways, let's get in! What on earth is that? That's a robot! He looks pretty. Wait a minute. It's that guy, Billy! The kid that always sits in the corner of the classroom and doesn't talk to anyone. What's he doing with a pretty robot like that? No idea. Who cares? Just ignore him. People aren't going to pay attention to him anyways, Brock. They might not pay that much attention to him, but they're going to pay a lot of attention to his robot. If they pay attention to that robot, they'll see Billy right beside her every time. I'm the most popular guy in high school, and I won't let anyone take that spot away from me, no matter what. <sighs> You're so annoying to be around with, Brock. Why are you always so annoying and selfish? <laughs> Wait till you see what I'm gonna do to that robot. I'll make him regret coming to this school, Lucas. He hasn't caused any problems yet. If you feel like he's taking attention away from you later, then you can be mean. But for now, he's not doing anything at all. So stop being such a baby. All right, fine. I'll take your word for it. I don't care. What's looking at you, Claire? How do you feel? It's your first day and you're already popular. Not really. It makes me feel a little uncomfortable, actually. I am programmed to sense danger whenever it is near. So when all these people keep looking at me and trying to talk to me, my sensors keep on activating to warn me of potential danger. It's not a pleasant feeling. But just remember, Billy, I'm the one getting all the attention, not you. Sorry if I'm interrupting, but my name's Lily. Nice to meet you. Oh my god, no way! Are you 
this girl in our school just approached me all by herself, all willingly. Oh my god, this is a dream, right? Ah, I can't believe this. Hey, nice to meet you too. My name's Billy. Billy? Nice. I was just really curious about your robot. She looks really, really pretty. Where did you get her from? My mom got it for me as a birthday present, but I'm not really sure where she got it from. But you can talk to her if you want to. Oh, wow, really? The robot can speak too? Of course I can. I am a multi-purpose robot that's built to learn. I can speak, move, answer questions, and socialize just like any other human being can. I am a smart robot. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. She's talking. She's actually talking. Of course I am. Wait, so can you feel the emotions too? Do you have feelings and emotions just like humans? Yes, I do, but not in the same way as humans do. Humans feel emotion due to chemical reactions in their body and their brain. But I feel emotions due to my software. My robotic system is programmed to react in a certain way according to what is in my surroundings. It's hard to explain, but I think you have a general idea of what I'm talking about, right? Yes, I do. I'm studying robotics, so I know exactly what you mean. I've never seen a robot in person. I've only seen pictures of it on the internet or textbooks or movies, too. This is really cool. I can't believe my eyes. And it's even cooler that you can talk to me and hold a conversation with humans. I can't believe this. Right? Her name's Claire. You can talk to her as much as you want. Is it alright if I can spend the break with you, Billy? I want to talk to the robot and ask her some more questions. This is really interesting to me, because I plan on becoming a robotics engineer when I grow up. I can't believe this! She wants to hang out with me during the break? Of course I'm gonna say yes, of course! There's no doubt about it! Oh my god, it's finally happening! She wants to talk to me! <laughs> yep, of course, we can hang out during break. I wouldn't mind it at all! wouldn't mind it either. I find it really fun whenever I talk with other human beings. Then, let's hang out later. No! No, 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 no! That's my girl right there! How dare they take her from me! Relax, dude. She's just talking to them. Besides, she's not your girl. Yet. You haven't even talked to her yet because you couldn't muster up the courage to talk, Brock. I don't care. No one is taking Lily except me. She's mine and mine alone. I can't believe she's interested in that nerd. It's all because of that robot, isn't it? She's only getting close to him because of that robot, right? So the robot's the main problem. If I destroy the robot, I destroy the problem. Then she's going to start liking me. You need to learn how to use your head once in a while, Brock. Can't you see how much Lily likes that robot? Didn't you see your happy face when she was talking to that robot? She's mesmerized by it. If you destroy that robot, damage it, or do anything to harm it in any way at all, she's going to hate you for it. Oh no. Ugh, you're right. Ugh. What do I do then? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Ah! I have to do something. Why don't you build a robot of your own that's even better than the robot that Billy has? Bruh. Oh wait, you can't do that. I forgot. What was your average GPA last year again? Don't talk to me about grades, Lucas. Now is not the time. Stop that. Give me suggestions on what to do with that loser. Now! Hmm. Let me think. weird that humans have to eat food? Robots like you don't eat anything like that at all. I do find it a little strange that people obsess over food and eat so much since I never experienced things like that myself. But it's not that big of an issue. I still understand why humans act the way they do when it comes to food. I understand the biology of humans completely, and I am aware that it's completely different from robotic systems like myself. 
I love your way of speaking. I wish I could speak like that. Your English is perfect, Lily. Don't worry about it. You have a really beautiful voice, too. Oh, thanks, Billy. I appreciate that a lot. You suck, Lucas. Ugh, they don't make sense to me at all. Why can't I just go there and break his robot into pieces? I just explained it to you earlier, Brock. She loves that robot. If you break the robot in front of her like that, she's going to hate you forever. You can't do that. You just need to go there and be yourself. Show to her that you're more handsome than Billy and it'll be easy. Billy likes to study. He can't even talk properly. Look at you. Look at him. <laughs> You, on the other hand, are muscular, handsome, popular. You get the idea. Only difference is that you're lacking a little when it comes to studies. I don't care about study. Who needs books when you've got muscles and power, huh? That's right. No one. Just you wait and see. I'm going there and getting Lily. And there's nothing that Billy or that little robot will be able to do about it. Hey there, beautiful. What's up? I just thought you looked really cute, so I wanted to hang out. Oh, thank you. Um, I'm flattered. I thought you came here to talk to the robot just like I did. Oh, the robot looks really pretty, but your face, it's prettier. You're much more prettier than any robot in the world. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate it. Brock have to come out of nowhere and ruin my time with Lily like that? I'm not gonna get another chance like this. I wanted to make the best use of it. But hey, it's crazy to think that I went from being almost invisible in school to being around two of the most popular people in school. <laughs> crazy. This all happened overnight because of the robot that mom got me. Hey, pretty robot. How much would you rate Lily on a scale of 1 to 10? Hmm? I want you to be completely objective. I think she's an 11 out of 10. Do you agree with me? I know exactly how the robot is going to respond. The robot is going to start making calculations and end up with a low score for her looks. Probably 6.5 or something. That's going to annoy Lily a lot and make her feel embarrassed. That's when she'll start hating the robot and that will be my perfect chance to destroy it. Oh, I'm going to become her hero and she'll be obsessed with me. <laughs> Hmm, I see what you're trying to do. But hey, in my opinion, I would give her looks a 9 out of 10. Oh, wow! A 9 out of 10? From a robot, too. Thank you. What? Impossible! Why is the robot talking like a human? I thought she was just like any other robot. I couldn't hear their conversation from earlier, but I noticed the robot talking thought she was just saying some pre-programmed sentences, but she's actually able to talk like a human. Ahem, okay. See, that's great, but my rating is more accurate. <laughs> she's an 11 out of 10, and nothing less than that. I can understand why you think that. She's really pretty after all. She's the prettiest girl in the school. You guys are making me blush. Let's change the topic. Is backfiring. This isn't how I wanted things to go. I was supposed to destroy the robot in front of Lily. If she hated the robot, she would be okay with it too. Ugh. Lily, I think Brock has feelings for you. He seems really attracted to you. I can sense it. What? What? what are you talking about? What do you mean you can sense it? You're just a robot. You're making things up. I think my analysis and observations are much more sound and accurate than yours are, thank you very much. I observe more intently than any human can even begin to imagine. That's the way I've been programmed. Humans make mistakes. I don't. I also sense danger from the tone of your voice and mannerisms. Billy, I would suggest you stay away from this person. He screams danger. <laughs> yes, he's a school jock. Of course he screams danger. 
Wait, what? Brock, is that true? Do you do bad things to people? What? No, 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 no. Th that's not true. Why would I do that? Me being mean? No, I'm a nice guy. I'm not mean. I'm really nice, Lily. You can ask my friend Lucas. He's right there. Hey, Lucas, come here. Uh, he really is hopeless. Ugh, I give up. I'll leave him be. Away? I thought he was going to help me. He's supposed to help me. Is he annoyed that I didn't listen to his original plans? But I was doing what he asked me to do. I was trying to be more charming than Billy. I was trying to upset that annoying robot too. It looks like your friend got fed up with you two. <laughs> that laugh is so robotic. It's hilarious. Walked away as soon as Brock called out his name was so funny. <laughs> enough! I've had enough. You think you can make fun of me and get away with it? Huh? I'll show you. I'm going to ruin your robot right in front of you, Billy. Then we'll see who's laughing. Don't try that, Brock. I've been trained in combat and martial arts. I'm not an ordinary robot, you see. Oh yeah? You think I can't fight you? We'll see about that. Huh? Oh, my head. What happened? I, I see stars. I can't believe it. This robot, it's its perfect. It's literally perfect. It can do everything. It can fight. It can move. It can talk like a human. It's awesome. I never thought a robot like this even existed. This should be all over the news. Billy should do something about this. You can become famous if you advertise this on Roblox or something. This robot is really special. Billy, really? thanks for the idea, but I don't think of Claire as a robot that can help make me more popular. Lily. Claire's just my best friend, that's all. And she's the best. Like, I don't even think of her as a robot. I treat her like just how I would treat any other person. I'll treat her like a friend. Always. She's amazing. Wow. <laughs> that's really sweet. So you're really close to that robot, huh? Yes, she's my one and only friend. One and only friend? Well, how would you feel about making another friend? Another friend? Yes, another friend. Would you like to be friends with me, Billy? Am I dreaming right now, or is this actually happening? Someone as pretty as Lily asking me if she wants to be my friend. Yes, the answer is yes. Of course, I'd love to be your friend. Okay, awesome. So, what do we do about Brock? Hmm? Huh, I guess we'll just have to leave him there. <laughs> I don't really know how hard a robot punches, but it's probably really hard, right, Claire? If I was to punch him with full force, he would never be able to get up ever again. That's why I held back when I hit him. He'll wake up after approximately 30 minutes and 29 seconds. Precise. All right, then. Let's just leave him here. Many, many minutes later. Bruh. For the next few weeks, me and Lily started spending a lot of time together. In the beginning, she would usually only talk with Claire and ask her robot-related questions that I had no idea how to answer. But after the first two weeks, she started taking more interest in me too. She would talk to me even before then, but now it's different. She talks to me a lot more and I'm super happy about that. I really like her, but I can't tell her that right now. It's way too soon. You should 
should really think of telling her about your feelings soon, Billy. She's really sweet. She's perfect for you. I know, I know. But I'm too nervous about it. It's too soon. Also, I don't really want to make any more friends. You're already worth a hundred friends, Claire. You're my best friend. Bestest friend I've ever had. Billy, I do appreciate your compliments. I want you to remind yourself that I am not an actual person. One of the reasons for me befriending you was to, of course, accompany you as a friend since you didn't have any to begin with. But the other reason is because I wanted to change you. I wanted you to become more social, more motivated, have higher self-esteem. I am making progress with you, but you're still not quite where I want you to be. What's the point of trying to make more friends when I've already have you, Claire? Because I'm not an actual person, Billy. That's the difference. I want you to connect with actual people. You won't find robots like me anywhere else. You'll be spending most of your time talking to actual humans, both in your work life and outside of it. You need to learn how to socialize with humans, not with robots. That's how you prepare yourself for the real world. I don't know, Claire. All that stuff sounds really intimidating to me. I don't really want to hang out with people that much. I'm introverted, you know? I know that you're introverted, but you really want to have friends too, right? Before I befriended you, I remember your mom telling me that you were feeling really lonely in school because you had no one to talk to and you would do anything to have more friends. But now that you have the chance to get more friends, you're not taking it. I guess it's just the nervousness, but I understand what you mean, Claire. I'll try talking more from now on. That's perfect. But remember, you also need to confess your feelings to Lily. Don't forget that. <laughs> really, Claire, that's probably going to take a much longer time. Roblox, Lily. Wasn't expecting you to be this good. I warned you. <laughs> you should have taken my warning seriously. <laughs> okay, I might never be able to beat you at Roblox, but I'm pretty sure that Claire can. Yes, it is almost impossible to beat me in a Roblox game. I can think 10,000 moves ahead, which is impossible for any human brain to even attempt. I can think of all the different variations of the game and all the moves that could be played by either opponent. And I can process them instantly. So yes, it would be impossible to beat me at Roblox. Well then, only one way to find out, right? Oh, are you actually going to challenge her? But you'll lose! Will I? <laughs> How can you be so sure about that? Because she's a robot, Lily. She can process information a million times faster than us. It's impossible to beat someone like that. It's all right. I'll go easy on her at the start. Nothing to be worried about. Let her try her best. I know I'm probably going to lose, but it wouldn't hurt to try anyway. It'll be fun. I've never played a Roblox game against a robot in person before, so this will be a completely new experience. And if there's a chance I win, I can brag about it for the rest of my life. <laughs> okay, Lily, good luck. Be the best gamer win. It's enough! This is it! That robot needs to go away! I'm going to do whatever it takes to destroy it! I'll do anything! I'm just waiting for the right opportunity to strike. 
I tried researching on the internet to find any weaknesses that that robot might have, but I couldn't find anything. Seems to be a new experimental model or something like that. But since it's an experimental model, it almost definitely has some weaknesses or something I can exploit. Then Billy will never see the robot ever again. Lily will be mine forever then, and no one will be able to stop me. is checkmate. Good game, Lily. Wow, so I only lasted 10 minutes, huh? Okay, that's really embarrassing. What did you expect? You were up against a robot. Cut yourself some slack, Lily. Yes, he's right. You shouldn't take this defeat to heart. You should instead just... Claire, are you all right? What's going on? Everything is fine, Billy. It's just that... Is she malfunctioning? What's going on? Yes, 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 yes. Perfect. This is it. The moment I've been waiting for. <laughs> Can't defend yourself now, can you? <laughs> this is what you get for messing with me. Don't ever mess with me again. Get out of this school. Stay away from Lily. No, Brock, stop it. really damaged her, but she started malfunctioning even before that. That's why she wasn't able to defend against Brock. Otherwise, she would have seen the attack coming from a mile away. I don't know what to do! I don't know what to do! Uh, who can I even call? Mom! Mom's the one that bought this robot! She'll probably know what to do! What happened to her? Why was she malfunctioning even before Brock threw the water on her? Sweetie, I should have told you this sooner, but Claire is an experimental unit of a new model of robots that's yet to come out. The model is going to officially launch in 10 years, but I was able to get an exclusive sample. Since Claire is still an experimental robot, I'm not surprised she had some malfunctions. The main issue is that Brock threw water on her while she was malfunctioning. That's the worst part because it causes maximum damage. So what's going to happen now? Is Claire going to survive? I don't know, Billy. I don't know. But I'll try my best, and I'll call as many robotics engineers as I need to help me fix her. We'll try our very best, so leave the rest to us. Claire, can you hear me? I really hope you're going to be all right. I, why didn't you tell me that you were an experimental unit? You could have told me that you still have problems. Maybe that Roblox match tested you too much. Don't worry, Billy. It's not your fault. I knew there was a very high chance that something would go wrong in my system at any random point in time. Why did you never tell me? You could have at least let me know. I didn't want you to worry about me, Billy. I didn't want to put that burden on you. I don't think I'm going to survive this. Don't say that! You're going to survive! I'll make sure of it! I appreciate you caring about me so much, Billy. And I enjoyed all the times that we spent together. 
But remember, I'm not a real person. You should find a real person in your life that you really care about. Someone who's as close to you as I am. You know who I'm talking about, right? It's pretty obvious. You need to tell Lily how you feel. Stop talking like you're not going to make it. These aren't your last words, all right? It was just a splash of water. That's it. It's not enough to hurt you. Billy, I want you to promise me that you will confess your feelings to Lily tomorrow. You probably won't be able to do anything today since you'll be really sad soon because of losing me. I will really miss you a lot, Billy. I'm going to confess to her don't worry about it. I'm going to tell her how I feel. I also want you to promise me that you will move on from me as soon as possible and start making actual friends. I want you to have real friends, Billy. You need to stop sitting in the corner of your classroom in every lesson. You need to stop avoiding conversations with people. I don't want you to be a celebrity, but I want you to be comfortable with talking to others. That was my main goal after all, since I knew I would be gone very soon. Can you promise me all these things, Billy? Yeah, I promise. Promise I'll do that. But you're going to see me do it. This isn't the end. You'll make it. I'm really sorry, Billy. My time has already come. Thank you for everything, Billy. What was that sound? No, it can't be. Mom, 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 come here. Claire, shut down. What happened to her? Oh my god, Claire, she's... She's what, Mom? She's what? Why is she like that? She's no more, Billy. She's gone. No, she's not. I refuse to believe that. I can't. I can't. I'm sorry, Billy. I really am. feeling of loneliness that I used to feel came running back. I started feeling lonely and depressed again. Clara was the only friend I ever had. I'd be more than happy to accept that, but... tell you something uh, something really important what is it billy i i have feelings for you lily i think you're the most beautiful girl in the world I had a crush on you since the day i saw you but never had the courage to tell someone as pretty as you i was such a nerd back then full of insecurities with zero self-esteem but one day you saw me lily that was the best thing that could have ever happened to me claire helped me change and became more confident and i'll forever be grateful to her and you lily you helped me find true love billy <laughs> that has to be the sweetest thing anyone has ever said to me thank you so much i love you too billy Phew, thank god i was scared you were going to say no why would i say no to someone as handsome as you that's crazy <laughs> <laughs> Claire completely changed my personality for the better. I was now completely comfortable talking to people and happy. I was no longer sitting in the corner of classes, but rather in front. Everyone came to me instead of wishing I could have enough courage to talk to them. Claire was my best friend, not only because I had the most fun around her, but also because she taught me the most valuable lessons in life. I don't care if she was a real person or not, she will forever be in my memory.